Welcome Sagittarius. This is your monthly reading for the month of April. Uh, for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. T general reading, so take it as it resonates. I have already cleared space and cards and shuffled and infused with Reiki. And we're ready to begin. Beginning with the um, Sacred Forest. Era, um, sorry, Oracle. I will draw an Oracle and then I will lay down the Witch's Tarot and clarify with the Classic Tarot. At the end, I will draw another Oracle and a Rune. There we go. What does the Spirit have for Sagittarius? Great, please. And our first card, Guardians of the Land. Protection. Let's, um, see what this is. The spirit of the guardians of the land says, You are safe and surrounded by a protective shield. You are not alone. Your life is guided and protected by higher forces. Within this, you can soar to great heights. You are enough just as you are no matter what has happened or occurred in the past. The truth is that you are absolutely and unconditionally enough as you are. You are loved. You are cherished. You are safe. These words seem to emerge from the land and radiate from the trees to echo in your soul. You hear these words again and again. The sacred guardians of the land are whispering to you, you are safe. You know that you are protected and cared for. You can feel tendrils of their loving energy wrap around you and embrace you. Their unleashed power cocoons you in safety. You are protected. Keep that in mind, you are cherished and loved. Okay, now we are going to lay down the Witch's Tarot and see what we have for you for April. Thank you. Birds are falling out already. Knight of Swords. Nice. Is there some kind of action you need to take? Some kind of adventure coming in, maybe? Let's uh, keep going here. What do we have for Sagittarius for April, please? Five of Swords. Hmm. Mental conflict. Uh, need to get clear, perhaps. Gain clarity. The lovers. Possible love relationship. If you're in a relationship already, maybe it's a renewal of that. Uh, Deepening. The Seven of Pentacles. Assessing the situation. You're working in the right direction. It's time to pause and assess. The Nine of Pentacles, Ooh, yes. She has built abundance. She's confident. Courageous. Has created some abundance for herself there. Let's see. The Ace of Swords. Gaining that clarity. Clarity coming in. New perspective even with this uh, bird in flight here. Um, could indicate a different perspective. Looking at things from a different perspective to gain 
the clarity. The Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Um, could be a new career opportunity. Um, even a learning opportunity. Learning something new. Let's keep going. And we have the Knight of Wands. that um, taking that action maybe pursuing uh, your dreams close to your destination. It's almost time to lay down those heavy burdens. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Cups, releasing what no longer serves. Walking away from anything that doesn't serve your highest purpose. Leaving something behind. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords taking action. Becoming clear, perhaps, on the situation. Taking action, or let's, let's go for it. Taking that leap of faith, taking action, gaining that clarity, moving forward on this new adventure. You're protected as you move forward. Um, What else do we have for this Nine of Swords, please? Because they just got the Knight of Swords again. Yeah, taking that, getting that clarity and moving forward, taking action, taking that leap of faith, trusting. The universe has you. Whatever this inner conflict is, um, you need to gain clarity and deal with that. Um, let's drop a card. I jumped out. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. So gain that clarity, connect to the earth, get well grounded. She's grounded, earthy. There, she's surrounded by abundance and nature there. Um, like we have on the bottom of the deck there. So there's something that needs to be um, released. Maybe something, there's something that no longer serves. Something um, that you need to let go of, release, walk away from. We have the Emperor. Oh, uh, yeah. Take your power back. It could be a person, or it could be whatever you need to release here that is um, taking your power. And you need to take back your power. Release and take back your power. It's 
When something no longer serves you, walk away from it. Let it go. Step into your power. Let's uh, clarify this lover's card. Page of Swords. Hmm. Is there news coming in? coming in. Whatever this news is, um, whatever's coming in, be true to yourself. Gain clarity on the situation. Or possibly clarity is coming in with the page on this relationship. Gaining clarity. Looking, taking an honest look at things. What do you need to be to be true to yourself in this relationship? Eight of Pentacles. Putting in the work. Putting in the work. Every relationship is work. <laughs> Putting in the work. And we have the Seven of Pentacles here where he is assessing the situation, headed in the right direction. Looking back, uh, to stepping back, sorry, and looking at the situation, assessing the situation. Page of Wands. An offer, perhaps, a passionate offer, news coming in about an offer. Let's clarify that. Some kind of passionate offer. Ooh, Nine of Swords. Perhaps you're dwelling too much in your head instead of in your heart. of cups this is a new beginning um, this is a blessed beginning you have the dove in the cup holding the leaf waters overflowing um, the lotuses represent peace but notice the waters are calm this is a new beginning on an emotional level So perhaps gaining um, clarity, putting in the work, um, and following your heart more than your head in your relationship and renewing that relationship. some independence for herself. She is strong, independent, abundant. Six of Wands, victorious. She's claiming victory for herself. So whatever's going on in this relationship, when you, um, Stand back and look at it and gain clarity. Uh, what do you need to do to be true to yourself? Put the work in. Is it something that the both of you can work together to create this? Or perhaps yeah. 
you need to establish more independence. Um, I mean, mm, yeah, that fulfilling family card. There's abundance, there's happiness, that happy home life. Maybe you're relying too much on your partner and you need to become more independent yourself. Um, pursuing your dreams, desires, putting the work in. The magician, you have everything you need. Things are aligned spiritually, materially for success in this relationship. Make sure you're moving forward with clarity. You're well grounded. You're walking away from what no longer serves you and you're owning your power. Put in the work, gain the clarity. Be true to yourself. Gain that independence. So then we have this gaining a new perspective and getting clear here the clarity coming in this card. follow your heart make your decisions okay based on your heart what is your heart telling you to do Go within to find those answers. Make those decisions. And the page of pentacles. An opportunity. Opportunity in business, um, career, possibly um, in education. There's some opportunity here. Let's clarify. Again, with the Ace of Swords, gaining that clarity. Clarity is coming in for you and um, it brings success. Look at the crown, the olive branch, the palm leaf. The hand is coming out of the clouds, out of that fog. Seek that clarity to bring successful results because this new opportunity is here. This new beginning. It could be a new career. Um, new seeds are being planted. Um, we have the Ten of Wands. Again with the Ten of Wands. You're carrying a heavy burden. Um, Knight of Wands. Take action. Take action. Don't hold back. Take action. So Knight of Wands here, Knight of Wands here. Take action. There's something new coming in. This is... It, you're, it could involve travel. Um, it's a new adventure. Uh, something 
looking maybe passionate and heartfelt. Let's clarify this Nine of Wands, please. Spirit guides and does Take swift action toward victory with the uh, chariot. Move forward. This is an opportunity to move forward and claim victory. here. We need time for healing. Move forward in your passions, desires. Um, it will make you vulnerable. Guard yourself against that. Um, let's see what we have here first. Then the Three of Cups. A celebration with friends. From the Three of Swords to the Three of Cups. Heal. Take time to heal. To go within. Heal from that broken heart, or that wounding, whatever it is. There's a potential, possibly, for a wounding. Or there's a need to address a past wounding uh, in order to um, successfully move forward in this, uh, this opportunity. Then we have this Ten of Wands, where he sees the castle. He's almost there. The success is within his reach. Um, let's clarify. Ooh, the tower. There's a change, don't resist it. There is a sudden change. Um, something happening, perhaps it's gonna give you a different perspective on things. Uh, change your mind about something or the way you look at something. That's, what else do we have here? Seven of Swords. Is someone sneaking up on you? Is something sneaking up on you? Be aware of what's going on around you. Guard against that, that heartbreak. Uh, no, I don't want any. King of Swords. Gain clarity. Step into your power. Move intelligently. Make wise decisions and choices. Be aware of what's going on around you. Um, <clears throat> don't resist change. Go with the flow. <clears throat> but be aware of what's going on around you. potential as well. There's challenges. But really, I mean, this isn't bad at all. There's something you need to release. You need to gain clarity. Um, don't get caught up in, in the um, chatter mind.
Go with the flow when the change comes in. Make sure you're, um, you continue to heal those wounds that you might have. Stepping into your power, gaining clarity, moving with intelligence, being aware of any one or anything sneaking up on you and undermining your victory, your success here. You're on, it's right within your grasp. I want to take another card right here. There's one more card. Four of Cups. Be careful not to become discontent and miss that offer. This Ace of Cups. Look at this. It's the same cup with the dove and the leaf. The new beginning. The new beginning being offered and she's missing it because she's either bored, unappreciative. She's lost sight of her blessings and she's caught up perhaps in boredom, self-pity, some unappreciation. She's missing the opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity. And know that as you, as you do, the, as you release things and get out of your head, as you seek that spiritual guidance, and decide from your heart, gain that clarity and take action. You're protected. You're protected no matter your situation. There are challenges. But there are great opportunities here for um, love, clarity, um, even possibly a um, career opportunity, blessing there. Stay focused on your blessings. We have the Sagittarius and Clarkson Prince. The Wizard of the Woods, focus. <laughs> Funny. We just mentioned focus. <laughs> Let's see what uh, it says here for focus. A wisp of smoke rises out of the glade, and in an instant, the smoke transforms into a wizard. His long gray beard reaches halfway down his chest, and his iridescent shimmering robe constantly changes from various hues of green, deep emerald to light spring green, to the bright color of grass in the summertime. He leans toward you, lowers his voice, and says, Your wish is my command. However, you must be very clear and focused on what you truly desire. The spirit of the Wizard of the Woods says, put your attention on what's worthwhile, loving and beautiful. That's what will manifest in your life. What you focus on is what you create. This is the time to choose just one thing to focus on rather than a slew of things and watch miracles abound. I like that. Okay, let's pull a rune for you. In closing. Oops. Ansys. Um, communication sign. Um, synchronicities. Watch for signs. Watch for synchronicities, messages from the universe communicating to you along your path. 
be aware of those signs and synchronicities of the messages that are coming into you. Okay, and that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you for watching. If you like the reading, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. And to be notified of future readings, please hit the notification bell. Um, your interaction helps to promote the channel. Thank you so much. Uh, have a completely and totally blessed month of April.